for, for an, an ambassador, a politician, if you may, statesman, this is a very emotional appeal, trying to get to the conscience of the justices. There's been a lot of stories flying about some of them are recusing. We learned that some of them are recusing themselves from the panel. Some of them, one said that he's retiring uh, tomorrow, thereabouts, I shouldn't be in the panel. And there's been several intrigues when it comes to those who are supposedly going to make up this panel. But there's been no official statement from the um, um, Apex Court itself. But if you look at it and wonder to yourself, I was having a question with someone earlier on today, and I said, look at Michael Jackson, everything he acquired. He's a past now. He didn't live with any of those things. <laughs> it's just his memories. It's, it's someday, while I'm trying not to be moralistic when it comes to legal issues here, but looking at Timmy Frank's appeal for the uh, Supreme Court justices to look within their consciences and ask themselves, what will I be remembered for? How much of this do you think should play a role when it comes to ensuring that technicalities are not used to void judgment that should, by every chance, come to the fore as a true judgment? You see, Vivian, I want to sound also a passionate appeal to politicians, most especially, they should leave judges alone. The judges does not need their advices on how to live their life after retirement. You know, these are emotional blackmail. You don't need to advise a judge, especially since you're a party to the, you don't, They don't need it. People should allow these people to do their job diligently because when you begin to sound like this, another person begins to... It is, for me, it amounts to even, you know, trying to intimidate the judges. They've seen so much of this at a time where we're erecting big board and saying all sorts of things about judges. And we should also think these people are equally human beings. They have emotions, they have family, they have a life, they are, they are entitled to their private life. Of course, we know they are bad judges, they're equally fantastic, good judges. A lot of them. So coming to say that they shouldn't rely on technicalities like they're trying to teach them their job. So it, 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 it is wrong, you know. I personally, I feel it's wrong. For you that is not just a member of a political party, you are a, a, a ranking member of a party that has a so Even at the level of every other parties, you have forwarded your case to the judicial because you believe in the process. You should equally accept judgment if it doesn't come in your favor. It's, 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 it, is not, it, it doesn't have to go your way. If you don't believe in the process, you could have just accepted the very level of, you know, the election, uh, you know, the polls, and go home. But you decided to go to the courts because you believe in the processes. So you must, you, you must have a lawyer that will represent you that you should get advices from. So it, it doesn't really make sense to me. People shouldn't come out and begin to advise judges on what to do and what not to do.